Hi friends, and welcome back to Happy Out Home. So I'm revealing more spaces in our home. And today I'm in the lower level and I wanted to show you our home theater. We absolutely love this space and use it all the time. If you ever have a chance to buy a home with a theater and think that it's one of those spaces that you'll never use, you know, when you go into a home, you're like, oh, I'll never use that, I'll never use that. I can tell you that out of all of the rooms in our house, this theater we use all the time. So I just wanted to take you into it, just to show you if you all are thinking about building out a movie theater in your home and just let you know how much we enjoy it as a family and individually and just give you um, a little peek as to what it looks like. Okay, let's go, let, let's go in. Okay, so these are the doors that lead to the theater. Let me back up a little bit. They have sconces on the side. They're really large, thick wooden doors with little peepholes. And they um, push in or they push out. So they're very, very easy to access. They're really thick doors too. We really like them. They have that very like old world feel, you know, with the bolts on it. And they're just super thick doors. But let me take you inside. So here we are in the theater. I just put on a kid's movie just to show you the screen. Uh, we have velvet curtains on the side. They're thick red velvet curtains. And as you can see, all of the seating is red. When we moved into the home, a um, prior to us owning the home, um, a pro athlete owned the home and he had his colors in the theater. Um, so the walls were two-tone colored um, and hence we have some bright red chairs, which are fine. They're super comfortable. I'm glad I actually never changed them out because we really do love them. They're very comfortable. Um, so that is the story on the red chairs. Plus I kind of feel like it's a little Kennedy Center-ish, right? A red theater. So that is that. So um, the walls, I painted a very dark navy blue. As I said, they were two-toned, you know, with the shadow boxes and the wall colors. And I just came in and I neutralized everything with a very dark navy. The carpet is also a dark navy. So, I mean, it's a theater. You want it to be dark, right? You don't want to have a light theater. You want it to be dark. So when everything is, you know, the music is really loud, um, you just don't want any light in the room. So you want dark colors on the wall. At, at least that's, that's, that's my preference for a theater. I think it's a great place to have dark walls and dark carpeting and, you know, a dark ceiling. The ceiling is also blue. Actually, you know what? It may be black, but yep. So that is it. We have rope lighting all along the sides, as you can see over there and all along the front. And it's really just because we have some step up spaces. So besides the ambiance that the rope lighting provides, it also is a little bit of a safety concern. So, you know, when it's dark and, you know, you need to leave the room, you know, you're not going to trip on the stair. So this is a raised platform over here. And here is a view from this side. It is seating 412. Very comfortable, very, very comfortable. All the chairs recline and have cup holders. So it is very comfortable. And the back row is raised, of course, in a theater. That's what you would expect, right? Expect the back row to be raised so that people in the back can see. I always sit in the front. I have a very particular spot that I always use. And this is my spot right here, right in the center. When I go to the movie theater, I like to be right in the middle looking at the screen. I don't like being off to the side. So this is my little favorite chair here. 
and I come down here often. We come down a lot for movie nights. The, um, all four of us will come down and watch family movies. Um, so it's just a great space. The kids will use it with their friends when they come over and it's just a really, really wonderful space. I've always loved having a home theater in, in homes that we've had. And in our last three homes, we've had theaters and I never regretted it. I know some people prefer to have like a media room, just a dedicated room where you just have a, maybe a, a large TV or a screen and you just have maybe like a big sectional. I am a huge fan of the, the reclined theater seats, my own little space with my own cup holder. I find that the most comfortable. So I've always loved that. So if you do have the room, then I, I do suggest that. And this room is very, very large. So we have a popcorn machine here. And yes, this is where I filmed my famous popcorn video. That is my most viewed video on YouTube on how to make theater popcorn. I will link it here if you haven't seen it. So please check it out. But yes, we love coming down here and making a warm batch of popcorn. That is one of the fun things to do. And of course, if we're a little on the lazier side and we just don't want to mess with the machine, then there's plenty of little bags of Skinny Pop for when we're, di when we're dieting and we just want, you know, 100 calories. So this is the candy cart that we use a lot. Basically all the time, whether we're watching a movie or not, people come down here and just swipe candy. I know it's not probably a great habit to get into, but that that is the candy cart. So we do have, as I said, shadow boxes on all of the walls. And they do have, you know, curved corners for a little decorative accent. They are not just square shadow boxes. And when I did keep the columns and the trim white, I had considered going about and painting them dark, but you know what? It's not really an issue when we come in here. I mean, it, it doesn't bother us at all. It doesn't affect our viewing ability or anything like that. So that's been not a problem. So I've, if I have tons of free time one day, maybe I'll come in and paint them. But right now that's not high on the list. We do have um, sconces up here, over there, four sets of sconces. We have lots of lighting. We, you can see we have overhead flood lighting. We have sconce lighting. We have uh, the rope lighting and lighting up there on the front screen. And they're all individual, individually controlled. So we can turn either one of them on or off, as you can see over here. So let me turn some of the lighting off so you can get a better view of what the, uh, what the screen looks like. So that just turned the sconces on the side off. And the second one is turning the rope lighting off. You can see it's getting darker. And the last one is turning everything off. So it's pretty dark in here now. Close the doors and you can see just how great the screen looks. It's a little hard to see when all the lights are on, but just the, the colors just are very vibrant. It's, it's over a hundred inch screen. Um, and we do have a projector above and like I said, it is a screen and we just use this room all the time and have always loved having a very, very large screen. Um, you know, most of the TVs in our house are probably 80, 85 inches, but I don't know, just having this screen of over a hundred inches, it's just, I don't know, it just seems so much bigger than the 80 inch screens. Um, so I come down here and watch the news. It's also, you know, connected to like cable. So besides movies that, you know, we can pull up or shows, you know, I just come down here and watch the news. I come down with my laptop in the evening and I just hang out and, 
you know, eat a little bit of candy, a little bit of popcorn, catch up on the news, catch up on, uh, you know, my blog and Instagram and everything going on and watch TV. Yep. So that is that. Let me turn these lights back on. It's a little harder to see. Um, I can turn the volume up just so you can get an idea of what it sounds like. Hopefully YouTube isn't gonna get mad at me for that for and pick up on the sound. Um, I'll just do it for maybe a second just so that you can hear it, how loud it is. So that's it. That's it. So the I mean the movie gets pretty loud. You know we can turn it up. We have we have like a bass in here. You know and this is only up to like sixty nine. So so it gets much louder. And you know with the uh, surround sound, it really is you know, a, a movie theater experience. I much prefer to come down here in the privacy of my own place than, you know, go out and sit in a theater. I mean, we have everything that we need here. So I don't know. I much more prefer to have things at home than, you know, to go out and you know, spend all the money that you spend. Movies are expensive these days when you add in all the popcorn and everything. So, you know, have, have everything that we need right here. And like I said, with my popcorn video, you guys now know how to make theater popcorn. So if you build a movie theater in your home, if you find a room in the basement that is not utilized, maybe you want to finish out, add some stadium uh, seating, add some of these fantastic chairs and build your own theater. You can have movie theater popcorn and then you won't need to go to the theater anymore. I mean, I know a lot of people enjoy doing that. It's an experience, but I don't know. Personally, I would just rather stay home. So that is just it. I just wanted to give you a quick little overview. Um, yeah, in terms of equipment, like I said, up there we have a uh, projector. And this is corrected to, co connected to our whole home system of, you know, Fios and, you know, being able to watch network TV and the such and such. There are a couple of speakers up there. You can still hear them. They're a little hidden behind the curtain. The curtain does close. Um, but yeah, they're a little hidden back there. But, you know, so there are two speakers up there. There's a speaker there. There are plenty of speakers in the wall. You can't quite see them. Oh, well, I think that may be one up there. Uh, they're hard to see, but there is just great surround in the room. Um, it was professionally done, uh, professionally built out, and professionally um, a, a professional stereo surround system. So just wanted to show you if you all are thinking about doing something like this. I don't think you'll regret it. We use this room more than most of the rooms in our house. Um, there are a few rooms that I just use all the time, and this is one of them. We use our gym pretty much every day, and this theater, and our kitchen, um, and the bedrooms. Those are kind of like everyday use rooms. Um, other ones are, you know, kind of a occasional use, but we, we do love having a theater, so. Just wanted to show you ours. Turn on the lights as I head out. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like and subscribe if you do. I have more views of the home, of our home Ooh. coming out. So get subscribed so you won't miss anything. Great talking with you all again, and I will see you all soon. Bye.